Alright, so today I have another Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle for you guys. This time, once again, against one of my very active viewers and new mods, Melted Cat, aka Frixel. Today we'll be bringing the following Pokemon, guys. We'll be bringing Galvantula, uh, Mawile, Excadrill, Vaporeon, Gudra, and Chandelure. And it looks like he has my Arch Nemesis Talonflame on his team, which is going to be really, really annoying. Cannot stand playing against Talonflame. Always destroys me. Alright, let's see. What's the plan this match? He's probably going to lead with his, uh, Sinsino. I mean, they, they usually do. Sinsino's a pretty common lead. Uh, because it has, like, multi-hit moves, so moves that hit multiple times, and then the ability skill links, so... That definitely means that, you know, a lot of leads try and set up their entry hazards right off the bat. Uh, or like weather or some sort of you know, environment changing effects uh, to really try and like tilt the match in their favor uh, starting from turn one. And they usually carry Focus Sash, uh, the held item that ensures that you cannot be killed in one hit to ensure that you don't die uh, in one hit. And that way you actually get up your entry hazards or your, uh, your weather, your screens, or whatever you want. So since Hino is a really, really good uh, anti-lead, I guess, because you know, since Sino's moves hit multiple times, so you technically aren't being killed in one hit, so he just breaks your Focus Sash, and then he just flat out kills you uh, before you can actually set up anything, which is really, really annoying, definitely. So since Sino is definitely a pretty strong anti-lead. Oh, this thing actually... Is it faster than me? I think it is actually faster than me, now that I think about it. Oh, this thing is faster. Huh. He's probably going to go for Tail Slap. Oh, no, he'll go for Rock Blast, actually. Okay. I'm going to predict the uh, the Rock Blast, or the Tail Slap, I suppose, and we're going to switch out in the Mawile here. Mawile, of course, is the ability Intimidate, so when I send it in, it cuts the attack of the opposing Pokémon by one level here, so... Not only that, but I do resist this Rock Blast, so... Uh, it shouldn't do very much damage to me, yep. And that'll do basically nothing, especially after the Intimidate, so... Not bad, not bad. And yeah, uh, Guru, it is, uh... Capped at 50. All the Pokémon are automatically adjusted to level 50, regardless of their level. Hello, Shinchimax. Okay, let's see. What is his plan now? That is the question. Okay, he has no Life Orb recoil, so that's interesting. Uh, that Rock Blast didn't do very much, so he might be Scarfed? Hard to say. He might have a Choice Scarf, uh, which is, of course, the held item that increases your Pokémon's speed, but allows you to only use one move. So he would be locked into Rock Blast. I sincerely doubt he's staying in, because uh, Sensino usually never carries anything, I guess, that could harm Mawile in any way. He'll probably just be U-turning. Now, what will he go into? Probably Talonflame. The problem is, is that uh, if I set up this turn, and he just goes into Talonflame, I can't really do anything to Talonflame, because uh, Talonflame can also set up on me as well, uh, which is a bad matchup for me, so... Pretty sure he's gonna go into Talonflame, so I could predict that. And I wish I had rocks on this team, that would be swell. I think I do I do need to get my sticky web up though at some point. Okay, so, oh okay, so yeah, oh no, he's choice, because he didn't U-turn. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, yeah, and he's gonna go into Talonflame, which is fine. Or he does have U-turn, and he just clicked it, but yeah, he just switched <laughs> uh, by accident, as he says. Okay. <coughs> well, that's unfortunate, because if he actually did U-turn, uh, then he would have broken my Focus Sash, and then uh, and then he would have gone out into his Talonflame, which would have been in a pretty solid... Uh, he would have been in a really good situation in that case, but I, I thought he was, like, choiced, so I just... Uh, decided to take the risk and go into Galvantula anyway, but I guess he's not choice then if he said he could have gone for U-turn, so maybe he has a Focus Sash, which is, I guess, the other option. I mean, these things can run Focus Sash. 
They're really squishy. I mean, Zincino dies in like one hit, so. <clears throat> Hello, Sir Jamie Lannister. <laughs> uh, I'm playing against Melted Cat right now. Alright, and he is going to go into Whimsicott. Interesting. I thought he would stay in and maybe set up on me and try and go for like a Swords Dance or something like that, but it looks like he was fearing a T-Bolt. Now, I'm not sure why that's the case, though. I figured he would either want to just break my sash or just set up on me, but it looks like he's opted to go into Whimsicott now. He's just going to Encore me into Sticky Whip, though, that's the thing, which is his plan, so... He was assume he was probably assuming that I just set up Sticky Whip, and I guess he did not want to just go straight out for the, uh... Breaking my Sash, so... He's probably going to go for Encore this turn. Whimsicott has the ability Prankster, which means that it's not attacking moves, it's status moves. Uh, have Priority, which means they go first. So, you know, Whimsicott will usually run a very, very supportive move set uh, because of this, so... He's probably going to Encore me, which is going to lock me into only using Sticky Whip, which would be pretty annoying, not going to lie. Because, you know, there's no point in setting it up when I've already set it up. And Sticky Whip is, of course, an entry hazard that reduces the speed of all enemy Pokémon on the ground as they switch in. Uh, hmm. Now, on the off chance he goes for Leech Seed or something like that, I am going to go out into Gudra here, because Gudra does have the Sap Sipper ability, and I can absorb any Grass-type moves with relative ease. Oh, he's going to pull a double. Interesting, interesting. Ah, and he's going to go back out into Sensino. Now, this is uh, both good and bad for me. I mean, on the flip side... Hmm. Do I outspeed him now, after the Sticky Web? He's probably still faster than me. But, he doesn't really have anything that can kill me. I mean, Tail Slap will do a, a probably a 3 at KO on me, I'm assuming, but there's nothing he can really do to me. Rock Blast is probably also a 3 hit KO. But he might just U-turn out, that's the thing, yeah. Considering that he can't really do much to me. But I don't know if I want to take much damage on uh, Gumshoe right now. Gumshoe really doesn't want to take any unnecessary hits, but... I can just heal Gumshoe back up, so there's always that. Oh, okay, so I guess he misclicked. Because, uh, yeah, that switch didn't really make too much sense to me. I don't know why he would double there. I'm going to I'm gonna be safe, and I'm just going to go for T-Bolt here. And, yeah, he's going to stay, and he's going to go for Tail Slap. I mean, I almost went into uh, Mawile there, uh, but I thought you just U-turn out. It looks like he's actually going to stay, and he's going to go for Tail... Oh, that does a lot more than I thought it did. Oh my! Okay, I guess, uh, Sincino is a powerhouse. That did a lot more than I wanted it to. Okay, well, at least I broke this thing's presumable sash. I'm assuming that's what he's running, uh, because I don't see Life Orb recoil, and he implied he could have gone for a U-turn instead of just switching out straight up, so... You know, he can't be having a choice item, and, uh... He's going to free Tail Slap again, which is going to do basically nothing. Again, you know, this Encino hits pretty hard. I mean, I would assume this thing is banded, but uh, he said he could have gone for U-turn, so... It's a little crit there, but nothing that makes a big difference. I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna stay in though and I'm gonna go for the play rough this turn, predicting him to go into his uh talent flame again, but it looks like he actually stays in. So I should have gone for Sucker Punch. Oh no, okay, yeah, so he turned out okay. Okay, so yeah, so he's gonna go into talent flame, right? You know, I could have gone for Swords Dance, but there's no point, because he can just go into Talon Flame and then kill me with a Flare Blitz, or just set up on me. Because, like, Sucker Punch fails, guys, if you try and set up. <clears throat> like, the Sucker Punch only works if your opponent is using an attacking move, and then otherwise it fails if they go for, like, a status move, or they try and set up something like Swords Dance, so... And, you know, Talon Flames can carry either Roost or Swords Dance, or both, so, you know, going for Sucker Punch against Talon Flame is kinda risky, kinda risky. 
Of course, if Sucker Punch succeeds, it's a pretty powerful Dark Date move that goes first, so it's a good way to circumvent this really, really low speed uh, that Ma uh, that Mega Mawile and his Mawile in general has, so people will always run Sucker Punch on really, really slow dudes. Hello, Sir Waffle-Lot. It's taken an awful long time to decide uh, what's going to take this obvious play run. I should probably wait before I say uh, what I'm going to do, because uh, I know he's listening, but... He's going to go into Whimsicott. Whimsicott will not take this hit extremely well. He's going to get caught in Sticky Web, Speed Fell. He's going to take this pair off in the face. He's going to do a shitload. Now, my question is why he went into Whimsicott, because I don't know what Whimsicott can really do to me. I mean, he can Encore me, yes. Uh, he can Leech Seed me. But, like, he doesn't want to Encore me into Play Rough, that's the thing. And I think Play Rough might 2-A-K-O his Talonflame anyway, because Talonflame is pretty squishy, honestly. I don't know what his plan is here. I mean, he can't Toxic me either if he has that for whatever reason. If he subs up, I mean... We could substitute and then try and I'll pray that I miss this Play Rough, but... Maybe he's just foddering Whimsicott at this point? I'm not sure. Or he's like an offensive set and he can try to Moonblast me. I'm not 100% sure why he did this. Now, I'm just going to stay in and I'm going to go for a play rough. Okay, he went for Energy Ball. So I could have gone for Sucker Punch there, but I mean, these guys never... Like, Whimsicott very rarely carries a... Uh, you know, a wide variety of offensive moves. It almost exclusively uses status moves due to its prankster ability, so... I've also never seen Energy Ball on Whimsicott. Whimsicott usually runs Giga Drain if it can. Because again, Whimsicott is like a very defensive Pokémon. It's all about, you know, sustaining itself in the battlefield with like Giga Drain, Leech Seed, uh, Encore, you know, very, very supportive, annoying moveset. And it looks like he does go out in the Talent Plane there and he just ended up foddering his, uh... <coughs> Uh, Whimsicott there. I mean, you got a lot of damage on me, I guess, but, uh... Hmm, now my question is, what is his plan here? I have a lot of choices that I can make here, but, uh... It's important that I get this one right. Now, I could, ma I could make... I could take a huge risk, but... I'm not going to. You know, I, I could have uh, I could have predicted the pretty obvious Flare Blitz from his Talonflame, you know, Fire Tape move, I'm Steel Type, you know, goes out saying, and gone out into my Chandelure there, he's got the ability Flash Fire, and I could have uh, soaked up that Flare Blitz and got my Flash Fire uh, boost. Uh, flash Fire is an ability where it makes, basically makes you mean to Fire Tape moves, and if you get hit with one by the opponent, then uh, it raises your power of Fire Tape moves until you switch out, so... But I decided I would, I'd make the safe play and just go into Vaporeon, because if he went for Brave Bird breaking the switch, which would have been bold, because uh, that you know that would have been very risky, uh, considering that a Brave Bird would not kill Mega Mawile, uh, and then that would risk him just dying, but... I wanted to go out into Vaporeon just to be safe, just to be safe. And now he's in a pretty awful situation here, because he can't really stay in uh, at this point. This, uh, I'm going to predict him to switch, because he doesn't want to take a Scald in the face, and it uh, looks like he does not at all. So I'm going to go for a weird predicting the switch. He goes out into Binette, who's going to get caught in the sticky web. Not that that really matters, Binette is of course quite slow. This does look like it's uh, his Mega Pokemon, of course, out of his Pokemon. The only possible Mega Evolution could be his Banette, so definitely going to be Mega Banette. No one really runs Banette otherwise. Mega Banette, of course, when it evolves, Mega Evolves, it gets the new ability Prankster, which, just like Whimsicott, you know, makes all of his non-attacking moves have priority, so they'll go first. So again, you know, Mega Banette isn't really too much of an offensive powerhouse. It usually runs like a sort of 50% offense, 50% supporting moveset, because it's kind of slow, so can't really sweep too much with it, but it does hit pretty hard with the pretty, you know, buff attack stat, a very diverse move pool, and a potential to run a special set. Now, I'm not sure what his plan is here. I mean, he could, like, Shadow Claw me, he could, uh... Huh. I mean, these things are usually physical attackers. I don't really have too much, uh, to deal with this thing, though, so... 
I could just scold him, honestly. I, I'm not sure what his plan is. We'll see. This way I can uh, learn a little bit more about his moveset, I suppose, but he might just go straight for a Protect uh, to get his guaranteed secure Mega Evolve. We'll see, we'll see. Oh, uh... Ankoi Shots? Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. Probably butcher that. That's just first come, first serve of the battles today, so if you want to battle me, uh, then, you know, after I'm done with this battle, just ask for a battle and I'll just pick one of you guys at random, basically. Because uh, I can't use my usual drawing system that I normally do uh, to decide who's going to battle me. Because uh, Twitch TV has recently updated their chat interface, so they, my Pro Maps compatibility is like broken right now, so we're just kind of rolling with it. Hello, Eyewitness Chicken. Okay, yeah, so he wanted to burn me, that is A-OK. -okay. The thing is, is, though, is, of course, if you guys already know, you know, burn has your physical attack stat, as well as dealing damage to you over time. Now, the thing is, is, I, I almost went in doubt, uh, I almost went out into Chandelure predicting the will o -Wisp, because the will o -Wisp is pretty obvious, I mean, why else would you bring this thing in? Uh, but then, if he went for Shadow Claw, then uh, Chandelure would die. So, definitely not worth it. And I don't, really don't mind getting burned, whereas everything else on my team kinda does, because I have leftovers, so it's not a big deal. And uh, we'll see if he stays in. He, he's probably gonna stay in, but the thing is, is though, or he'll just go out into Greninja. No, he's gonna go into Melodic uh, to take this uh, Scold, yeah. Oh, okay, Bruno Viking. Okay, uh, so thankfully I actually did get the burn uh, with Scald. Scald, of course, has a 30% chance to burn, so not too unheard of that I get the burn there, but... Actually, assuming that he's running the uh, ability Marvel scale on his uh, Milotic, this is actually very beneficial to him, because now I can't put a Toxic on him, uh, because he already has a status effect, and you can only have one. Uh, on you at a time, and I can't put a Toxic on him anymore. And Toxic, of course, does much more damage over time than a burn. And Marvel Scale uh, raise, raises Milotic's defense by like 50% if he has a status effect on him, and since burn isn't particularly debilitating because Milotic is a special attacker and burn has only physical attack, this is actually kind of beneficial uh, for him in a sort of weirdo way. I'm gonna go for the Wish here, because I, I think he's just gonna... Actually, I'm not sure what he's gonna do, so I wanna scout it. Uh, you know, like, he walls me, I wall him, he's gonna go for Ice Beam. That's gonna do nothing to me. Actually, that did a decent amount, actually. Okay, that actually makes me think that his Milotic is, uh, modest, and perhaps a more offensive set. It might even be running the, uh, competitive ability instead of Marvel Scale, uh, considering how much damage that did. What's the best way for me to deal with this guy? I think the best way, honestly, is to just go out into uh, Mega Mawile here. And uh, we'll see where see where life takes us. Unfortunately, my Vaporeon is kind of crippled right now. It's at low health and kind of burned, so that's not great. Yeah, I know I can take an Ice Beam. Uh, yes, okay, thank god. Oh, and I get Frozen. Oh my god. Okay, now that... That is really bad luck. Because now my wish comes through from my Vaporeon, and I'm in a solid position to sweep him, because now I can, you know, just go for another play rough and just kill this thing, or really anything that comes in, but I really, really, really needed a Mega Mawile here uh, to actually get anything done in this match. Now that Mega Mawile is frozen, I'm in a, a rather precarious situation. Now, I can either pray that this thing fall, uh, thaws out, or basically consider it dead for now. That is the question.
I mean, it might have competitive and not Marvel scale. I'm assuming, based on you know the heavy damage of the Ice Beam, is that you know th that his Milotic might be a more offensive set. He might be running a modest nature, you know, maybe 252 special attack investment. Uh, you never know, because uh, that that does that does a lot to Dimage. Now let's see, what would he do? Assuming I stay frozen, uh, he could easily. He doesn't really have anything that sets up, I guess, but he could, uh... His Talonflame could be, uh, his sweeper. His Talonflame could set up. And I might just be giving him a free switch into Talonflame if I, uh... If I stay in here. But I really need this, th I really need this guy. Otherwise, uh, this battle is going places like the toilet. I'm going to pray, I thaw out. And I don't, so. Let's go for Scold. Wait, does that thaw me out? Because I know that Scold uh, thaws the opponent out. So, if, like, if you're frozen and you use Scold, it, it thaws you out, but. Okay, I guess it thaws me out. But I live that, thankfully, because I, you know, just heal myself with a wish, so thank God. And now I actually have a chance to do something here. Huh. Well, let's see. I am really, really low right now, which is not what I want. Hello, decoy flame. I'm in a very, very, very precarious situation. Okay, well, I'm gonna go for play rough this turn. Hopefully I'm faster than him. I think I am, because I said it was frozen solid before he went for Skull. So, yes, okay, yeah, yeah. I should be faster after Sticky Web, unless he's running, like, ridiculous speed investment. Okay, he's clearly not Marvel scale. Because uh, otherwise, he, he might have even taken that hit uh, decently well. But, you yeah, know, I should be faster after Sticky Web. At least that was the hope, you know, I was praying. I was like, yeah, I should be. Because I don't always do those calculations correctly. But, uh... Alright, solid. So you go into this thing. Of which I will just uh sucker punch this guy, because I don't think he's running any non-attacking moves on his Encino. I mean the only non-attacking move he could be running is maybe like sub or something. So I I mean I I've seen his I've seen three of his moves so far, like U-turn rock last tail slap, and maybe his last move is like bullet seed or something, or like aqua tail, so you know these things rarely have a uh, you know, like, status moves, so I can go for a Sucker Punch here safely and just knock him out basically pretty easily. Yeah, I don't know why he sent in since, you know, unless he had a status move. Not 100% sure. Let's see, what is his, uh, what is his next plan of action? Yeah, Talonflame, right? Yeah, that's what I thought he would go out into, because uh, he didn't need to lose Sincino there, and Sincino still really is a threat. But the thing is, is though, now, is that, you know, I have to switch out here. He could go for a, uh, a Brave Bird, and, and as we all know, Talonflame has this ability, Gale Wings, which makes his, uh, flying-type moves have priority, so they go first. And the thing is, is normally I would have been living these Brave Birds, uh, but now I'm so low on HP that I will actually die to a Brave Bird, uh, that is for certain, and, you know, that is bid. Of course he does outspeed me, so he could just go for a Flare Blitz anyway, but I have Sucker Punch, so... The thing is, is though, is that since he's faster, if I go for Sucker Punch and he goes for Brave Bird, he's faster, so I just die. So, I cannot stay in here, otherwise I lose Mega Mawile, which basically gives him a free turn to Swords Dance or do whatever he wants. I'm actually in a relatively awkward situation here. And the real question is, how much do I need Mega Mawile at this point? I can use it to do some good damage on Greninja. It's going to be useless against the net. And, uh, yes, Whimsicott. 
Hmm. It would be good against Greninja, but... Uh, is it, is it it's time to die? I think I might just, uh... I think it's time for, uh... Vaporeon to kick the bucket. I think Vaporeon has, uh... Done its work, and I think it's about time that poor Vaporeon uh, gets sacked here. Yep. Hello, Trouble God, Neil, and Pete. Yeah, Sucker Punch. Uh, I don't think it overrides priority moves. I believe that's only Extreme Speed that has a higher priority, although I could be wrong, but. So we went for the Swords Dance there. So I guess Talonflame is his win condition. Uh, the Pokemon on his team essentially that will uh, set up. Yeah, he's gonna go for Brave Bird. This will probably kill me. But I'm more than prepared to lose Vapori on this turn. Yep. And now. Now I am in a unfortunate situation. Town Flame is, of course, a massive annoyance, but I do have uh, I do have a way of dealing with this. Thankfully, my sash is not yet broken, so you know, even though I'm a bug type, obviously, and you know, he being like a big bird, you know, eats me for breakfast. But my sash is not broken as of right now, so this T-Bolt will kill him. Uh, and he's gonna go for Roost. I mean, I, the, going for Roost is smart, though, because it, it, you know, it removes his flying type uh, for just this turn and heals him. So, you know, he'll get his flying type back next turn, so he'll actually live this T-Bolt. Although, there wasn't really much point in going for a Roost in retrospect, because he's gonna die anyway. And now he's at slightly lower HP than he was before, so... That Roost accomplished nothing. He's probably just gonna go for a Brave Bird here to break my Sash and die. Either that, or he's gonna keep this thing alive, but... You know, he runs into the problem where if he switches Talonflame out, is that the, you know, the elephant in the room, Galvantula, is still here with its unbroken Focus Sash, and that's the one thing getting in the way of his Talonflame sweep. So, he has to either break my Focus Sash, or, you know, his Talonflame will never get to sweep this game. But I think he's uh, kind of conceded that his Talonflame is just going to have to die here. Because nothing on his team really wants to take this T-Bolt at this point anyway. Uh, his team is actually, like... And he's got three things that are weak to electric type, and then like two things that are uh, normal, uh, you know, that take it. I guess normal effective hit from the electric type, so yeah. I can just safely go for a T Bolt here. It looks like his Town Flame is going to die, which leaves him with, I believe, uh, Greninja and Binette. Yeah, Mawile is a cool steel type, I love it. Alright, so he's going to go on to Binette. Now, the thing is here is he's just going to go for a Will-O-Wisp. Now, you know, Binette is not very fast, so I'm faster than him, right? And <clears throat> so if he wants to go for, like, a Shadow Claw or whatever, you know, I'm going to just kill the T-Bolt. So Vantula actually has, you know, it packs some power. Uh, this little spider has some power inside it, but, you know, he's just going to go for a Will-O-Wisp and just kill me, because, you know, again, Will-O-Wisp is priority because of his uh, Prankster ability, or he might have Shadow Sneak. So he could go for either or... So let's see, is Greninja left, and this thing. Hmm. Now let's see, how much do I need this guy? I don't need him. Alright, uh, Galvantula, you, you did your job. I could have switched out and maybe preserved this guy, but I didn't want to, you know, risk taking a Shadow Sneak, for example, on Chandelure, uh, predicting a Will-O-Wisp or something like that, because I don't know which one he wants to go for, but now at least I know. Oh, let's see. What's the plan here? I'm definitely going to have to lose something to Greninja, no matter what I do. I think the plan is to just go out and Excadrill. And then, uh... You know, I'm going to have to take a Will-O-Wisp, of course, which does suck, but... I can just, uh, Earthquake him. I mean, he'll, he might live, 
Maybe? It depends on his EV spread and whatnot after he burns me, but... Oh, he's just going for Shadow Sneak, okay. That's fine. So now he's definitely not going to live this Earthquake. Not that it particularly matters, because... You know, I'm just trading my Excadrill right now for his Binette, and that Earthquake will definitely kill him since he opted for the Shadow Sneak instead of the will o -Wisp. Not sure if he would've, uh... Not sure if he would've, uh, lived that if he burned me first. And now his Greninja's gonna come in, and he's going to... You know, presumably kill me with whatever he wants. Probably he's just gonna go for some sort of water move. But uh, there's nothing really on my team that's healthy enough for me to take that hit otherwise, so I'm just going to stay in and uh, go for EQ. If he decides to overpredict, then that is good for me, but otherwise, you know, we just take him out with an earthquake. Not bad, not bad. Alright, yep, yeah, he's gonna go for the Surf here. His Protein ability is gonna change him to a pure water type from his previous water dark type. I will die to this Surf. And now, it is time to uh, kill this guy. Now, I do believe a Sucker Punch should completely destroy his life, considering the Greninja is made of glass, but it could be wrong, so we're going to you know, hope that that, uh, that Sucker Punch will kill him. Greninja very, 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 very rarely carries like non-attacking moves. You know, normally, it carries like four offensive special type attacks, you know. Or maybe like a U-turn in there as well, but so yeah. I mean, he's just gonna go for another attack here. He might live this sucker punch, but considering that he's just water type now and he doesn't resist it, which was the plan. The plan was to go into Excadrill, you know, make him go for Surf. That way, he's just a pure water type, not water dark, because dark type does resist dark. So, you know, if he was just a water dark type when I send uh, Mawile out, he resists the sucker punch, so he'll probably live that. But now he. Uh, does not resist it anymore, being a mono water type, and this Sucker Punch should- Oh my goodness, he lives with, like, presumably, like, less than 10? Oh no, alright, Rattle Trap down, Rattle Trap down. Ooh, nasty. <laughs> he dies to Life Orb Recoil. <laughs> you know what? Okay, whatever. Twist Ending, Twist Ending. Actually lives the Sucker Punch with just the tip. Just the tip. Alright, well, GG well played Melty Cat, man. It was a really fun battle against you. As always, I love your, love your teams and whatnot, and yeah. Oh, he's definitely got the uh, competitive my loading. Hard for me to keep track of all of those things. <laughs> Two HP? Dude, Greninja's a baller, man. You gotta... I gotta commend your Greninja, man. It's tough. It's made of... He's tougher than Russian turnip in the dead of winter. Strong. Alright, GG well played, Melted Cat, man. Really fun battle as always. Pleasure to have you in the stream. So yeah, thanks for playing, man. Hope you all enjoyed this battle. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like rating as well as check the rest of the stuff on my YouTube channel. For those of you who do not know, I actually, not only do I uh, live stream regularly, but I also upload tons of gaming content to my YouTube channel, links below the live stream. So if you enjoyed this particular battle, you'll probably like the other stuff that I have to offer as well. Alright, thank you so much for the support, as always guys, I really do appreciate it, and stay tuned for the next battle of the live stream, which will start in just a few minutes. So I will be back shortly.